Hello everyone and welcome to what is. This is Sneaky right here with what is BCD. Now, if you remember from the binary video, you remember that binary is simply just ones and zeros. So, what is BCD? Now, BCD is binary coded decimal. So now if you think about it, binary coded decimal uses binary and is based on decimal. So, what what it is and how it's applied in in uh in binary is basically you take binary the decimal numbers and you put them in binary and you give it a decimal placement system. Simply, you take the numbers 0 through 9 and you put them in binary and each time you see the limit of 9 you add a new 4 bit line adding another digit that's 10 times the previous digit so basically what I've done here or what what uh, binary co coded decimal has done is it has taken decimal numbers and put them in 4 bit memory lines making a decimal input and decimal output actually possible so how do you use it how do you harness this new found um, counting system way of counting in circuitry well the best example I have to show what BCD has actually done for us is it has taken a calculator that I have designed and I have put up a 0 through 9 number pad as you see in front of you on the right hand side of your keyboard or along the top of your keyboard if you're on a laptop and I have put all those numbers in a regular keypad calculator style orientation adding just plus and minus and times and dividing uh, I don't have dividing on this one yet and an equal sign just like you would see on a regular calculator and obviously clear and what I have done is I've made it to where if I wanted 90 I should probably have cleared it if I wanted 90 um, actually let's do an easier one so I can prove to you it works as you can see 9 showed up over there let's just do like 32 for now 3 and 2 okay so as you can see 32 lit up over here I just typed in two numbers normally 32 I would only be typing in one um, typed in more numbers than I should but I would have actually had to count what 32 was or if I were to do 36 or something like that I would have to count or if I want to do 328 or 329 it's closer I'm lazy like that so see here I just typed in 329 I didn't have to sit here and go and count I'm not even going to count now to prove it's 329 that's how hard it is so 256 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 1 is 239 um, so, that's basically, or 329, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> got a little, got a little confused there, so as you can see, I didn't have to think about it, I didn't have to sit here and go and add anything, I can just do it, and basically, how that's using BCD is I take the, all nine inputs, and I encode it in binary, hence, the binary coded decimal. It goes down a 4 bit line. It saves each individual value. And then each time there's a new digit added, it shifts the digits over and into the right decimal values and multiplies it by 10, 100, 1000, whatever I would need to do. And that's basically how BCD is applied in circuitry. Um, there's a couple other ways to do it. That is the encoding side. Now, the decoding side is basically, I could take that and apply it to decoding. If I were to decode 67 bits, it would require 64 cells, which a normal cell is usually one block long. So if you think about it, 64 cells with one block long, one block in between to transmit power, a 7-bit a decoder would be 14 blocks wide 
and 128 blocks long. So basically, that would be huge. But if I was working with BCD, a BCD coder, after I get binary back into BCD, a BCD decoder is 16 blocks long total. If I were to just decode each individual one as one, which is a heck of a lot smaller than, um, I'm sorry, not 16, it'd be 32 blocks long, which is still pretty long, but if you split it up into two screens directly behind the screens, how you normally do it, a BCD decoder and then a 7 seg encoder becomes the same size as the encoder for regular 7 seg display and the same size as hexadecimal, um, which I will explain in another video. So that's pretty much the purpose of binary coded decimal, how to use it, what it is, and where you find it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.